All right, so today I'm going to be working on the saving and loading of resource and component data to and from a from binary formats, basically, or from binary just binary data, whether that's in the form of like a binary that's saved or loaded from a file, or perhaps content that's like transferred over the network or something similar because right now so far the only content uh, way to transfer data to and from locations is via uh, the import export which is currently just doing yaml which you know is useful for human readable formats on a file on a disk like you know, this or rather well, give me something useful to show, like this. This is nice, human readable, great to put in, uh, <clears throat> like a version control. But like when you want to co uh, transfer content over the network, or perhaps to just save it, load it in a much more compressed form than this, then you know you got to do it in a binary format of some sort, and. Because of that, I mean, that's primarily why when you save and uh, the import export are segregated into their own separate little library, which is considered or, you know, loaded as a plugin. Whereas the idea is going to be for the import, for the saving and loading import export to from binary will be part of the core um plugin or library where the type is actually declared so like here what's going to happen for the create the resource create info for faux images is going to have you know some uh, uh faux result that's like you know this to binary blah blah and the same thing going for from binary <clears throat> it'll be together with the the declaration of the type and the primary <clears throat> loader and usage of the type and it'll be uh, usable as long as you bring in the core li the, the library where the type is defined declared it and defined and then like the import and export to yaml which is a lot less effective and is designed more to be used for like say editing environments rather than the final uh, distribution and usage and then so in the editor environment you can use you can import export to yaml and other f um, formats and what have you so <clears throat> that is what I'm doing today binary format to from just just the, just the uh, conversion to and from. I'm not going to worry about trying to put it into a file or take it from a file or trying to uh, <clears throat> copy content across the network. Network. That's just not going to be happening. Not today. So. Okay. So to begin with these. Uh, the, the basic decoration. Okay, first of all, I need that. That and that. I need to include that. And then, I mean, how is this going to work? I'm going to have the, the, the type. No, no, no. I'm going to have that. Column star p data. Uh, if it's going to a binary format, t p byte size, I think, right byte size, yeah, in the number of bytes, and void star p. p write p data. This will be the destination where the data is going. This is the, this is oh no that that's um, uh, that I guess. So the data, how big it is, and where it's going. 
And of course, this will also this will be much like the other types where like if this is null, then this just returns whatever the size that's needed. And otherwise, if this does is not null, so it's actually got like a destination, then of course, like it, this will be the size of the the destination data area that you can write to. If it's not big enough, then this whole thing returns uh, incomplete, maybe or something, something. Not not entirely sure what yet. Otherwise, going the other way, you got void star const uh, t read. Sorry, const star t read will have uh, that star p data and probably something because I'm not entirely. Sure Sure. It may be some types may be variable like this one even this this could be a variable size of the content because the file name could be like two bytes it could be 50 bytes it could be a thousand bytes you don't going in I don't really know and I don't really want to say like you know I don't want to say like it's a file name of like a certain specific size. I'd rather have the ability I think to um Specify it can be variable size. So if that's the case, then like when I'm reading it, I need to know like if I if I read this, then I need to know how much how big it was. So then I can like advance to the next object, which will be plus equals you know uh, read size basically, move the pointer forward by that much, I think. So image create info okay. We'll have that. We'll move that over. We'll grab these two. <clears throat> that. Okay. So what I'm going to have, I want to have, so I need to calculate the right size, which is bad. Size equals size of U in thirty two T, I think. I mean, I can be a little bit more or less. I'll just leave it like that for now, anyways. Plus <clears throat> the P data file name dot size, something like that. That's the size of what's going to be written out. So then we get to if p write equals null. Um, hmm. Yeah, if that null, then If we're not actually writing it out, then return the size the destination of the buffer. Needed to write out the content. data size or sorry right size equals right size <clears throat> and then we return uh, include oh, uh, graphics resource error code and then I need to include result.h so I don't actually need that to results result Graphics resource success. Okay, we're done for that. Now, the other case we have is if P right size is less than the required size to write, I guess the right size. Then 
then I need so basically almost like this, except it's returning something else. It's going to return for graphics resource incomplete, something like that. I mean, I'm not the thing is about incomplete is that I'm not even writing anything. It's not like a string that I can spit out halfway. It's It's just a, it should just be an actual error. So resource error insufficient buffer size. Something like that. Otherwise, then at that point we go down to actually writing this stuff out. So you int eight t star p write data equals p data. Because uh, I want to get it down to eight t star int to down to a byte size. Because if I try to do pointer arithmetic on this, it fails. I think, yeah. Um, so I need to convert it down to a byte, and then what's going to happen is I'm going to mem copy p write data uh, the right size. Um, size of p uh, right size. Uh, I need for that to work. I need to include. Stand here, got it. No. Uh, sorry, not that. C standard lib. No. String. C string. Yes. Write out the content, mem copy, and then so that's the size. That's the number of bytes I need for this, the whole thing. That's sorry. That's the size. No, 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 no. That's not the size of that. Um, yeah, that's incorrect, isn't it? This sh should be. Hmm. UN32. I need something that's actually this, right? I need to write that out. Um, string length equals that. Okay. We do string length. Great. That, that's going out that way. That's the size of string length, which is u in 32t. Okay, great. Then we write out the string, which is mem copy p write data. Okay, so I need to this the pointer needs to advance uh, size of u in 32t, and then we write out. So we moved forward four bytes in this case, and we're writing this out. Um, p data file name dot data right just like that and it's string length like that yeah then at the end of all that then we go to start up p right size equals right size and we return to for result for graphics resource success. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so then that's for the writing to binary. Now I want to because I could write if I, I could use like f write to just write straight to a file, but I think actually writing it to like RAM this may be better. So uh, let's say I do like a kilobyte at a time, 
write a bunch of content to a kilobyte. Then I use like Z standard or Zlib to compress it. Then I write that to the file rather than, uh, <clears throat> or something like that, rather than straight to file, to, from, and file. Like I, I put it into like a neutral area, a void star or, you know, UM8 data or something like that. Then I do whatever I want. I deal with, because yeah, if I just put it into a, ran, a random buffer, I mean, it could even be a memory mapped file, really. Yeah, it could be. Anyways. Uh, yeah. Memory mapped file. No, that would uh, also take up RAM anyway, so it doesn't really get up, net us much. Anyways, like you write out or you read the data and like a, the buffer can be used for any number of things. It could be to and from a file, it could be to and from the network or something else or just whatever, right? <clears throat> that's not the, that's not within the scope of this. This just converts the data into a binary format. Right? And it doesn't do it where you just write, like write out, you know, the actual struct straight out into memory. Because of course, like, you know, uh, there's going to be... Uh, types that are going to have pointers and stuff that go like much deeper than that. So this, every type needs to have an actual set of functions to do this. Okay, <clears throat> so that's one way, two binary. Now I need to go the other way. I need to come from a binary. So uh, first of all, what? Uh, 8t const star p read data. Star p data sorry p read great so I have two things that which is string length okay Uh, yeah, so it's going to mem copy just straight, straight up from that. So it's going to be n string length from p read data size of unit thirty two t. Okay, and then we're going to have sorry, we need to move plus equals size of unit thirty two t. Then we're reading in the actual string. So string resizes to accommodate string length. Then copy string dot data. And then we get to string dot just period data. And it's string length, number of bytes. Then I have to move that string into the object. So how's, how would this work? If, is there really an if? Not really. So star p data equals dot file name equals string. Oh, that's kind of it. resource success. There's no real failure state for this. I'm going to always assume, oh, and then I need to, uh, sorry. That equals, so I need like key read data plus equals size of, oh, sorry, string length. So then this is going to become p read data minus p read. Which is like eight t const star that the number of bytes that was read and then it spits it out. There's no failure state here yet. I'm always going to assume that the buffer that you're giving me is correctly formed, which is a terrible thing to do. But 
Then is there any real other way I can go about it? I don't really think so. I mean, of course there could be other, th other things I can do, but... I don't like it. I really don't like it. Hmm. Okay. Just leave it for now. Validation. Okay. Whatever. Uh, this is a good start. I'll figure out maybe something better in the future. Let's move this to be actually first <clears throat> here. I need insufficient buffer size, so error code that. We got that. If we add it here. Here and here. Okay, okay, okay. So let's see, let's get a more complicated type of material. Ooh, yes, this would be far more interesting because this is going to have Vulcan types, which I don't have, which I am not, ob I'm obviously not going to be, uh... hmm. I am not going to do that, maybe. I'm not going to be manually creating a bunch of uh, to and from binaries for Vulcan types. I'm going to, going to have to create... <clears throat> some kind of automatic automated uh, script to do it. Much like I should already have something of the like in graphics vk for yaml already i have a tool i have this tool that generate to automatically generate this which is which is like, like to and from yaml thing using c plus plus and like all this all this is automatically generated and i'm going to have to do the same thing for to and from binary Obviously, I'm not going to be doing all of this manually. <clears throat> Especially for an expanding Vulcan whatever. So, let's get started. Now that I already have the basic idea of how it's going to work from from this. I just need to get that kind of in place. So, let's um let's close that up. Don't really need that. Goodbye. Go on down here, I have this. So for the moment, does this actually just use, okay, this uses the one from, okay. <clears throat> so I don't want to have it in the YAML. I want to put it in a tools directory for graphics VK, which is already here. What does this do? Merge, oh, this is mer yeah, this merges feature sets, okay. Libs, YAML, source, okay. Generate code. <clears throat> Copy these over. I think, yeah. So when he does the first one, right? Yeah. No, it does it for all of them, okay. All right, all right. Paste them here, anyways. So I need two things. I need a header and I need, so I'll copy this again. Header and that, okay. So I got this. For the header, I just need 
these two, basically. So, if and def graphics dk h binary conversion. Fine. Of course, this isn't really meant to be a forever kind of thing. I don't think. Okay, then print. At the very end will be end of that. We're also going to be using the Vulcan, Vulcan.h. Is there anything else I need to include? Error code. That it, that's kind of it. Okay. And then we get into, okay, I don't need to go through members, right? I don't think so. I don't think so at all. Read, write, write. Okay. Close all these. We're going to have this. It's not going to be that. It's going to be for graphics VK export. Okay. I need the export header too. E, F, G. So. No, just that. Yeah. So each struct, we're going to go through and we're going to have a few items to do. So we have that. So it's faux result. It's currently going to be the type. Binary. It's going to be the type again. Const star pvk data. I'll leave it like that. Pt star the right size. And uh, void star p right. We'll just do that. And then we'll have basically the same thing again, but it's from binary. So move that around down here. Read size. Void star p read. Okay, we don't. We're again. We're not doing. Oh no! Hold on. If okay, no, yeah, we we no, we put it here. This is only getting the excluded members, which we do not care about. Basically, all of this is going away. We don't need any of this, right? Print that. So, CD libs, pro graphics, UK, tools. I need to. So how many? Generate code. So it doesn't go here, it goes to include. Fix VK. Binary conversion. H. So grab the docs locally here. This will have to be ignore, get ignore, ignore.
Okay, we got that. We're in the wrong directory. So down another, perhaps. Okay, well, one, two, three. One, two, three. So they don't want to be three. No? Three external Vulcan minilibs. Vulcan minilibs tools parse. What? One, two, three. Parse VK doc. Oh, it's changed. It's like just plain parse doc, right? Probably. Just parse XML. So I'd also want to do that. for this as well. No? What? One, two, three. External Vulcan minilibs. Vulcan mini mini libs. Vulcan minilibs two tools parse. XML Python, yeah. Yeah, this is real. Oh, it'd be down another one because uh it's down it's inside of the Vulcan docs. Generate code. Alright. Uh it's Dash A. No. Go on, come on. What are your secrets? T. T for type. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So let's make sure that I can actually do that as well for libs, YAML, tools, generate code. Okay, it's uh, CD Vulcan. Make sure that still works. Okay, great. Uh, so here, ah, uh, here, here, cannot open YAML file, structs.yaml, great. I needed that as well. Sure. No such file or directory. Yeah, 
really. I push and then I pop. Then I'm back here. Gen cash, truck jamel. This. Is this it? No, no such file directory here. Is that it? Okay. Binary conversion. I can't type. Close that. Close that. Close that. We're back to here. Include. <clears throat> So it's just a regular graphics export. Put that in. That's a lot better. I'm going to save that. Go that comes that. Great. Bunch of types. Okay. Struct side or source side. So this begins with graphics VK. Not that. I'll make this a, a C file. It's just a plain old C file. Keep things simple. We got that. We'll do this. So it becomes just back source dot C. So dash I this. And this. All right, struct source, binary conversion, underscore. What about that, that? What else, is there anything else I need? I need, and lib.h. No, just string, right? For now. Is this going to work? Per member, okay. Per struct, we're going to have. I need a few things. I need the calculating the right. So right size equals blah blah. I need the right content. Then I need to read. Content. Do I need to clean up? I may need to clean up. Would I? No, I have the VK struct clean up from somewhere else. So that'll be fine. That should be fine for now. Okay. So what's going to happen instead? So we get we clean this up, right? Right. Clean these up. Okay. Read required. Read optional. Is there anything at the end of the file? I don't think so for this side. So do that. It's going to be oh results. It's going to be zero p. Binary zero const star p vk data right size load star p right I need to double up. that dot format struct name so what's going to be first is to 
size starts at zero. Then we're going to have one, which is going to be the right size. If there Null. If less than right size, and we have that thing where it's like. something I need. Return success on this case. Success. All right. Otherwise, at this point, we're writing, so convert. need to do conversion in plain old C, E data, just like that. Then we'd have to go through the two, which is the right content. Then at the end, P right size, equals right size, return to for this. And we're done. Okay, then we, for one, we want to do the read from binary. Okay. So I need the read size starts at zero. I need a read pointer. Put 
pues repites pgkta no 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 ah uh, I got this backwards don't I yeah yeah I do read size red star read. I think I'll rename these in a moment not entirely happy with this um, otherwise we have the type new VK data and then I'll just blank it out with a mem copy or oh, sorry mem set new VK data with a <clears throat> zeros size of uh, the type like that then I have to read the content sorry one zero one two three I'm also going to have, if there's a failure, then I'm going to jump to a, a go, I'll have a go to that goes to here, where it says if, okay, I need, uh, if I'm jumping around or not, I need to make sure, I need to check, like, what's the state. So I need, like, a, this it starts at that result of the da, 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 if result dot value uh, equals for success then double that up UK data equals new UK data. And number of red bytes. Else, we have a failure case. If if it failed, then we have to go with the cleanup underscore the type zero UK data which we return the result uh, that means I also need to check on the VK structs of up here include this right let's copy sorry not copy the um, file name whatever relative that's a bit much So it's a very nice, easy cleanup. Okay. I think. So now I need to actually deal with the content here. So these types down here are simple enough. Enum. Uh, there's no special, nothing special with enum. I'm not doing like to and from string right now. So this can be narrowed down to. Just that, where I have, what was it? Or mm, right size. Okay, right, read, read, read content. Uh, plus equals this, 
which is going to be I need to shift it to the left because I'm not I'm not inside a try catch. New VK data. Dot S type equals that. Okay. Otherwise, right con right size right content. Okay. And this is the fourth one we don't use or need right now. So the right size is the read size plus equals size of whatever this is, the type. Okay. When we're writing the content, it comes mem copy the write data and pvk data the member for size of zero and then p write data plus equals size of that Reading the content is very similar, but going the other way around. So mem copy p and p uh, no new vk data dot member name from p read data size of type. And then P read data moves the pointer over by size of that. It's um, so that's not really working out very well. Of course, these types so read content. Right size. <clears throat> okay. So to begin with, uh, let's also see if I can get this going in backend version dot C. So it's Get it part of Clang D so it'll start and fail horribly. But that's fine. That is fine. Read a uh, right size. I also need to increment that, right? Both that and that move by that much. Mm -hmm. P right. Void and void star. What? What? Whoa, what? I don't... <clears throat> okay, uh, another... Th I do have... No, I do have result H, which should get me to here. VK... Graphics VK result, which would be not existing. Right. VK error... Insufficient buffer size. Great. Move back here. 
that's real. So equals P you know what? Just P right pointer equals that. P right size equals that. P right data is that's that. <clears throat> P data, P buffer, uh, data, just do that data. No, <clears throat> for the moment, just that. Okay, that, come this, star, oh, if that, yeah. Insufficient buffer size, okay. Fixes that, okay. Fix that on the header side. Should be a const. No, it's from binary. So that's const, that's not const. Okay. That is correct. Okay, and then we're getting down to this. Otherwise, it looks pretty okay. Um, looking for a type. Here we go. Clean up this. So this has foreign data perhaps hmm okay I don't need read size uh, I can instead just do p read size equals p read data minus eight t minus star of p data that'll work that means i can get rid of the this extra thing mhm mm okay now for the interesting part dealing with subcontent like these are allocated fresh on the heap. Uh, oh, it's about an hour. I need a bit more of a drink. So I'll BRB. Okay. So uh, to begin with, the right size. The right size. How is this going to begin? This is, okay, first of all, actually, yeah, the S type is set properly. Can I add it as part of that? I don't know. Maybe. Hmm. Ah, whatever. It doesn't really matter. Right size, right size, right size. First of all, I can shift it to the left. Actually, these can be shifted off to the left, right? Two, they're too, are they too far to the right? No, no, they're just, f oh, no, because uh, playing formats moving them.
Mm -hmm. Okay, we're here. So as part of right size for this complex type is going to be I okay yeah yeah hmm. I is less than PVK data of member two. That's the count. Thirty two T sub right size. He gets zero. The type to binary uh, with the address being data one I the index the address of the index of the object I'm looking at first that right size and it's always going to be null sub right size okay great sub right size do i have an object like that almost from binary to that didn't work out very well at all. That didn't work at all. Hmm. Oh, I didn't save it. There we go. Okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. I think that's good. <sighs> Writing the content. Do that. We'll move it back. First of all, we need to write out the size, or not the size, the number of elements I have in here. So I need to p write data. Data. Uh, the P K data two size of unit thirty two T and then I need to P right I need to move it over by size of unit thirty two T Move it over like that. Now, is there anything that's not using a UN 32T? I really don't remember. Hmm. I'll leave it like that for now. Now we go through all the objects individually, and now we're actually going to properly write them out. I is less than PBK data. Second object, move the index. Sub right size is P right size. Minus P right data minus P right. So the total right size minus what we've already written, just just to be absolutely sure. 
then we get the type to binary. So this is again that PDK data one of index i. I need to make sure result equals that. If there's an error when writing, which should never happen, but it might. Hmm. But I know it will only write up to the maximum of the given subwrite size, anyways. So it should never accidentally overwrite outside of its area. It should. Key write data. Right. Where it's going right now. If result dot value success, then we just want to return it immediately, basically. Return result. Otherwise, p write data plus equals. Right size, and then we move to the next one, right? Oh no, not p right data. Yeah, p right data equals that. Right size. No, oh, no, I already, I already have that covered. Mm hmm. Okay. So that p right size. So I need some comment here to kind of split it up a little bit. So So that should leave one more, just reading. Okay. So how do I read this stuff? It's not pdata, it's pread. I just don't have anything right now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Makes sense. Because I just blanked it out. Okay, reading. Reading. How do I want to... Because I have to allocate stuff on the heap. Hmm. Which means I need to be even more careful than you. Mem copy. UVK data dot two. First of all, grab the number of objects. You read data, size of, no, 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 yeah, I can do that, right? I could just say, ooh, yes, 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 yes. Um, size of whatever that is, simple. So I don't even, I don't even have to know it ahead of time. It will already know. It should already know. So p read data is equal to size of that. Now, 
if new dk data dot two is zero, I need to do something special for a zero case where I'm gonna to have to say, no, no, because it's already going to be null from the mem set, so that's fine. It's just not equal zero, just greater than zero. Hmm, I need to allocate this stuff. New VK data dot one equals malloc of the size of new VK data two. No. Size of zero times VK data dot two. Uh, I need to check if new VK data dot one is null. It failed to allocate. Then I need to go to the member. Okay, member type, member name, count member, formatted name. Uh, I don't even use formatted name like anywhere, right? No. Not yet. Do I? Hmm. Let's just get rid of that. Get rid of that. Zero, one, two. Yeah. I'll keep that just in case. Just in case. For a future. Oh, no. I just don't use it at all. So it's gone. It's just gone. Uh, what was it? Three struct name. Failure. We just go to. Because then that'll automatically go through and any non-null objects that I've already allocated recursively will go through the cleanup function and will clean stuff up for me. Okay. Yes. Otherwise, we need to go through for the number of objects. And we are going to read them. Which is result equals. Member type from binary, which is currently a p read data. Read size and data dot one plus I I need it's a pointer plus I yeah so that's still a pointer yeah if it fails then we've got to do the same thing where we're just going to go to we're going to get out of here Go to the read failure, it'll take the result with it. Otherwise, p read data plus equals read size. And then we get out of here. malloc requires standard lib h. Guards qualifiers. Okay. Well, here's here's the fun thing. Um, 
I'm going to override that. Like that. Not even a single warning. This is not going to work, first try, but is there any other case I can think of right now? Not particularly. Hmm. The non-array case. This is always the array case for like variable types, but there's got to be like substruct types hiding around somewhere that I'm not taking care of. Um, <laughs> so that's actually, for the moment, is that even a case that I care about? If pointer in that, and remember, get length, okay. L if member types suffix if member name in okay members I want to see if if member name in members I need to do something you know, like abort, I guess, exit one. Okay, I don't actually do a type, do I? Um, can I uh, read this? I got a VK sampler for that. Those are pointers. I'm not going through PNX chains. What is this? Is this? Yeah, it's not very useful. No, actually, that is very useful. Three. No, it's just pointers. Mm, I need a substruct of some sort. Come on. There's got to be one somewhere. No, that's a handle. They're all... <clears throat> hmm. I can't find one. Are they all just pointers to elsewhere? They may just be. In which case, I'm going to have to do something else, something different. Hmm. It's a handle again. Oh, this, right? This is a struct. Ah, here we go. There's something I can test with. Give it to me. That is not correct. I can't do that. 
packing reasons. Um, yeah, I'd rather not uh, take the chance of packing. Okay, so this is if member type member name in member. So it's not there. If that can we get uh, there we go okay Oh, sorry. So not member name, member type. Not members. Um, struct dot find. That never happens. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's not very useful. So if I, um, I, just, I can recopy this from any at any time. No, it's XML root, find all that, right? Um, that doesn't look right. How is it structured? Format the document. In a, a little while, apparently. Then I want to go to this, which is what? This is not giving me anything, but I'm pretty sure it's under struct. I need that struct that struct that VK component mapping. What is going on here? Find I don't get it. Why is one? Okay, hold, whoa, actually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that doesn't make sense then. Not really. I'm 
looking at. Oh, what? Am I even, like, is it actually? None, none, none. Then it X. <gasps> Wait, hold on a second. What? Oh, here it is. Uh, can I skip the format for the moment? Okay, yes. So I'm not entirely crazy, substract. If that, then I want to print something really obvious. F -f 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 okay, so I want to print number type that. Great. If, what if this is, oh no. Hmm. All right, whatever. Because this is only checking if. So this has to be like after it. Like about there. Remember type FFFF. Great. So what I want to do in this case is it's a it's a standalone, it's an integrated object. Which means I need to do this right size. I just basically need these, right? That, that, and that. Except yeah. Subscope. That, right, the, wait, that, the sub right size, no, okay, and then right size plus equals that.
then with the right content uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. We got this so what's going to happen is we're going to have a f result wait no just that right Result equals this. No, I need the sub right size. Mm -hmm. Right data equals that. Result equals if result. Yes. Go to zero one. Oh, I could just be two. Read. No, no. Right failure. Right. Why would this fail? This should not not ever fail. Actually, right. Oh, yeah, but it might for some bizarre reason. I just return. Without... No, 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 because no. if... No, this will be right, because I already have the correct output size already. I checked it. And the only cases wouldn't be the case, the only cases should fail, would fail, is if you're modifying the underlying data, which if you're doing, then like all bets are off anyway. So I'm not, no. I think. Right content is becomes that. So dot format that and that. Read content. Reading is just just the same thing. I got a subread content type. Subread size, the data. No, the that P read data becomes like that. Those two, okay, we become that. Yeah. Not quite. Okay, reading. Okay, reading can f fail somehow for some reason. So 
So if that's the case, read content. Result equals that if not equal that, then we go to sorry, not that zero one two and struct name. Which would the, this would be fine if I also have that and that. to go to, I need a semicolon. I keep, I'm misplacing where I am. There I am. Okay. So at this point, it becomes a case of, I need to actually test this stuff. So I'm going to, this is going to be real boring. I, I just need to write some tests for this. So this, I'll do this real quick. All right. I think that about does it. I mean, this is for a single case, of course, for VK steps well state. And, uh, no doubt I want to kind of make this some automated, like I want to automatically add a bunch of tests. I want to basically replicate this for each structure type all the way through so I can actually get much better coverage and prevent regressions from happening if I ever need to modify it in the future. However, for the time being, this appears to work and I'll kind of take it as it stands so that's that for that <laughs> moving all the way back up to what was it, material create info <clears throat> going back to where all this began close mm. back to here how's this work that, 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 that. okay So this is all together in one, hmm, not really great. Yeah, but okay. <clears throat> Based on what I already have for that and all the VK stuff and that, this is just a matter of doing it over and over and over again, which I can do offline. <clears throat> using the uh, using what I already have. So it's just an extension, an expansion of what I already have. I just continue doing it for all these resource types, and then I'd go into doing it for the component data, such as in physics. Same kind of deal, right? Uh, well, for some data, some data. But otherwise, yes. Rigid body pool, okay. That content. Yeah. So I think I'll actually just leave it at that. Like, I already have the basics. I have just need to expand upon it further and further and further and add tests for most for a lot of it. Or some of it. Not really a lot of it, because there's gonna be a lot of a lot of stuff. So until next time, cheers.